Robin Roberts is anchor of ABC's Good Morning America. When not traveling around the world covering breaking news events, Roberts is at GMA's studio in Times Square, conducting interviews with a diverse group of newsmakers. The thing that's so remarkable about Robin Roberts is not only does she play this affable, sunny personality on television, but she is in real life. This is a girl's girl. She's a girlfriend. It's hard to imagine somebody can be this perky, especially given what she's gone through. I mean, I understand the word survivor. It's kind of like, survivor just feels like, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, you don't go through that just to survive and just hang around. You, you want to experience life. If you need me, call I wear this, you see this, warrior. And that's how I attacked it. That's how I attack life now. I am a warrior. No matter where you are. Anywhere else, and it's now been able to say it out loud. Um, I have breast cancer, as my family here knows, my family at home knows, and very, very blessed and thankful that I, I found it early. When Robin was first diagnosed, I was no blown away, like so many of her friends. The moment no I went public and told people what I was dealing with, is the moment I felt the healing process began. When I began chemotherapy last fall, my hair started falling out, so I decided to shave my head. This was my way to take control after so much had changed in my life since my diagnosis in July. I may not have been Halle Berry, but I sure felt like a supermodel the first time I went without my wig on television when I took the catwalk in Isaac Mizrahi's show during Fashion Week in February. When dealing with triple negative, there's a lot of uh, tough information that we have to, to process. This is what I was told when I was first diagnosed. As a black woman, you're less likely to get cancer, but more likely to die from it. What the heck are you supposed to do with that? Okay, so the chance I get it are slim, but if I get it, slim pickings. We don't know why. I thought, okay, we've got to do something to make sure she knows her girlfriends love her. And we just took Robin out to lunch, just to throw our arms around her and say, you know what, girlfriend, we got your back. Allow yourself to be loved, especially as women, we're caretakers. We want to make sure everybody is okay. This is a time when dealing with any kind of life-altering illness, allow yourself to be loved. I'm going into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame this year. I would be out there, I'd be hanging off that rim right now. I'd be like, <laughs> but as my doctors told me, being health conscious and athletic and all those things did not prevent me from getting cancer, but boy, did it help me fight it. Get that regular check. Know your body. If I keep my body fat down, it's less likely that the cancer will return. You know what? I'm, I'm a proud Southerner. I love my mother's collard greens. And I love smothered pork chops. I like curves. I like big butts I cannot lie. I get all that. But diet is, is, is crucial. I am truly, truly honored, and particularly uh, touched me, in part because I, I know how they're honoring their dear friend Nancy, and I, I love the fact that she was there for that first year. I really do feel blessed to be in her orbit, to be one of her girlfriends. Girlfriend, love you. Robin Roberts is a warrior in every sense of the word, from the basketball court to the newsroom. Robin plays at the top of her field, while reporting the news is her primary job, she allowed her breast cancer journey to become a main headline, thus informing, educating, and supporting the many women and their families who are diagnosed with breast cancer each year. For this reason, and many more, the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation is proud to bestow the 2012 Peace, Love, and a Cure Champion Award upon Robin Roberts.